Elevating your home not only makes sense, but is often required throughout the Mobile area. We're out at the Habitat Project site in Mobile, where raised floor living has funded two houses. Today, certified floodplain manager Kathy Cake and I will discuss how to reduce your risk from flooding. Kathy, why is it important to elevate your home? Well, elevating your home up off the ground has many advantages, including that it looks a lot better. But I think one of the best advantages is that it can help protect your home from flooding, and that can give your family peace of mind. My own home was flooded from a hurricane a few years ago because it was built directly on the ground. I think we forgot for a lot of years why we originally built our homes up off the ground to protect from family. And I think the reason the recent hurricanes are a wake-up call that we need to go back to raised floor living. How is this raised home different from other raised houses we see? I see a lot of other homes in the area being built on big mounds of dirt fill. As a certified floodplain manager, I can't help but worry about what that will do to alter our floodplain and that it may cause future flooding. And as a homeowner who's been flooded, I worry about what all that dirt fill can do to the neighbor's property. Remember, when building in a flood zone, a raised floor home will not adversely impact the natural floodplain. How much can homeowners save on flood insurance? The key to saving in flood insurance is all about elevation. If homeowners can raise their homes up above the base flood elevation, they can save hundreds of dollars a year on their flood insurance. Elevating to just one or two feet above base flood elevation can save a homeowner $500 or more each and every year. Visit RaisedFloorLiving.com to learn more about Raised Wood Foundations.